Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to do continuous integration and continuous delivery in the Azure Data Factory. So what is continuous integration and continuous delivery? So in the case of continuous integration and delivery, in any office or in any production environment, we'll have three environments. One is development, test, and production. So in the development, we'll create um, all the development and in the oh, and then we'll deploy the development to products to test and then from the test we'll deploy it to production so typically uh, since you don't have a different virtual machines and all those here how will you manage you will create a three resource groups in each resource group you will have azure data factory a storage account and a key vault in the development also you will have the same thing in the test also you will have the same thing you will have azure data factory keyword and a storage account in test also you will have the same thing and in production also you will have the same thing once you have all this setup we will actually in the development environment what we will do you will create a work branch and then in the azure data factory and then you would do all the development in the working branch and merge it back to master branch. Master branch is by default in any, if you configure GitHub or DevOps for the Azure Data Factory, you will have a master branch and you will have the ADF published. And if you want to do any development, you will create a working branch. So once it is done, what you will do, you will publish. Once you publish, then from the publish, what we will do, using the release management by using the release de definitions and the release what we will do we will deploy the code to other environments from the development environments okay now i'm going to show you how to set up different environments let's say i have created these standards let's say you have to create a resource group you have to create a storage account you have to create a ADF, you have to create a key vault, and you have to configure access key of the ADF to the key vault. So you have to create the same thing in the test and you have to create the same thing in the production. So now I'm going to do, I have um, set up <sighs> resource group for the development environment. Now in this demo, I will show you how to create a resource group for the test environment. Then we'll uh, create one more for the production. Environment. Now I will just show the demo for creating the test environment. So let's create a resource first. Let's create a resource group. I'll use this standard names that I have here, test 101RG. And I'm gonna create in UAE North, review and create, create the resource group. Okay, now I'm gonna use this test resource group for creating all the sub resources so now i'm going to create a storage account new storage account and i'm going to create this storage account again uae north I'm going to use locally redundant storage and nothing else. Just click on review and create. And create. 
I am gonna create a. It will be deploying. It will be taking a little bit of time. Now I am gonna create a Azure Data Factory. I'm gonna use test resource group and region will be UAE not our name will be test 101 ADF and I don't want to configure any git now so I'll say git configure git later and then create the data factory. Oh. I think I missed something over there. So I didn't create. So I'll select test 101, reason UAE not. TST 101-ADF. Configure git later. Review and create. Once it is validated, then I can go and create. So it is deployment in progress. We'll create a key vault in the meanwhile. Key vaults. Key vaults will be used to securely move the keys. That's the reason. So I want to select test 101. Key vault name will be test 101 access keyword. Region will be UAE North. It will be standard. Actually, I don't want to enable soft delete, but as it is showing by default, it should be enabled. So I just select seven days. And review and create. Now, once it is created, what I'm supposed to do is I am supposed to store the storage account key in the key vault and also provide access to the ADF for this key vault. Okay. So now, if I go to test group. Okay. In the test group, I forgot to create a storage account. Don't worry, we shall create one. Test one zero one SA So I will create one more storage account. Nessa resource group I'm gonna select is test 101RG. It's a standard and I will use a locally and I'm gonna use UAE North. That is it. Okay, now if you could see the test RG group, um, it is still deploying. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to keyword and then I will provide access to 
Azure Data Factory. So you have to click on the access policy keyword, access policy, and then add access policy. Here in the select principle, I will say ADF. That ADF is a okay. So the access policy, add access policy, select principal. There is a ADF, select ADF, and then the key permissions get and list. Click and add. This is one thing. Another thing is I need to configure this. So I will do it in the dev thing. I need to configure keyword with the storage account. So what I need to do, I need to click on the secrets. I need to generate import in the essay i am supposed to go to access control access keys show keys and select one of the connection strings and copy and here name something adf test and then you can store the key now i want to enable this secret keyword so i don't want to select no i want to select this and then click on create so i have created one so i didn't do that again so i have this here that's how you have to configure all of the things first one what you need to do you need to create three resource groups and in each resource group we have to create a storage account data factory access keyword and you have to provide access to access keyword for the data factory and you have to store the access key of storage account in the keyword so that it can be used in the data factory now we'll see in the next video on how to create a sample pipeline and deploy into test and that's all for this video we'll see in the next video